Epistle for today's Mass, St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. We hear that he counts all things as loss when confronted with the surpassing knowledge of Christ Jesus, and that he has suffered the loss of all things and considers them as dung that he may gain Christ. We can say that these same sentiments inspired the St. Paul that we celebrate today, St. Paul the first hermit, who at the age of 15 went out into the desert and lived over a hundred years out in the desert, a life of prayer and the most austere penance, dying finally in the year 343. And when we consider the life of St. Paul the hermit, In a certain sense, we should be impressed and inspired to love God more ourselves. But in another sense, we should not be so impressed, because after all, even a life, a long life, lived out in the desert in prayer and penance is a small thing for the love of an infinite God. God who is worthy of infinite love. Everything we do for him is small. In the office of readings this morning, we read from the book of Sirach, chapter 43, which explains the great works of God in creation, the power that he displays by governing all that he has created. And after going through the list of the great works of God, It finishes by saying this, More than this we need not add. Let the last word be, he is all. God is everything. Let us praise him the more, since we cannot fathom him, for greater is he than all his works. Lift up your voices to glorify the Lord, though he is still beyond your power to praise. Extol him with renewed strength, and weary not, though you cannot reach the end. For who can see him and describe him, or who can praise him as he is? So, this used to be a problem. That is, who can praise God as he is? Who can love him as he deserves? This was a problem prior to the Word becoming flesh. When Jesus Christ comes into the world, we can now praise God as he deserves. We who are baptized, incorporated into Christ, in Christ we can give God the love and the worship that he deserves. When we unite ourselves ourselves to Christ's sacrifice in the Mass, We give God the love, the glory, and the worship that he deserves. And of course, we do this also in union with St. Paul, the Apostle, and with St. Paul, the Hermit, who we celebrate today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.